Hey everyone, welcome back for another car wash video. Uh, I am in Scarborough, Ontario today and uh, just on uh, Kingston Road at a Shell gas station and uh, picked up a, a car wash here. It's a, a touch system. Uh, so the gentleman told me anyways. Uh, and what was the price? It was $13.99. So a dollar more than the Esso car wash, um, which is actually the uh, last one that I did on actually the same road, on uh, Kingston Road. Uh, the address on uh, this one is 3221 Kingston Road. <clears throat> And it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a wait. So I'll just pause the video and uh, start it back up when we're ready to go in. Alright, so I just heard the dryers kick in. It says it's in operation, please wait. It's telling me to wait there even to enter in the code. I can see the car in there going through the dryers. Hmm. Normally they, they allow you to at least enter in your code now. Which is 16925. She's still going through the drawers. Looks like she's barely moving. Unless maybe this is the type where the dryers uh, go around the car instead of the instead of driving through. I don't know. I'm starting to get a line up here. We got a few vehicles here behind me. Oh, now she's pulling out. Oh, now it's saying enter code. 16925. Alright. Alright, let's see who can be the first person in the comments below to tell me the correct name of this system. Let's see who can be the first person. Drive forward, drive ahead. Stop. And it says we're getting everything. On the sign. Starting with a high pressure uh, rinse on there, get the car wet. It's putting on a tri foam now with very good coverage. Sizing up the vehicle, taking its time.
Let's we'll see if we can see anything in the rear view camera here. Oh yeah, you can see the big brush back there. Saying shield, surface protectant, and rinse. It's a pretty thorough system. See how these dryers do. camera's not going to pick it up, but holy cow. They give you lots of time. They give you like 80 seconds or so. I just know right off the bat, I'm disappointed with the uh, the top dryers. Not sure how the side ones did. We'll have a look here. I'll actually park in the shade so we'll be able to get a decent look. Ugh. But I didn't like the uh, tire because the center of my windshield is still pretty wet. So I'm guessing the didn't do the, the middle of the vehicle very well. <sighs> yeah, the sides did a really good job, actually. Yeah, and those are, those are the ones that were so loud. Like, it actually was almost hurting my ears. It was so... I don't think I've ever seen dryers that loud before. But yeah, the center, right down the center... A little off center actually a little bit more on the driver's side is uh, still very wet but the dry they're the dry the sides are very very dry even uh, actually yeah, I'm touching the bottom bone dry and usually below the chrome piece as you know uh, most dryers uh, leave it wet so that's a shame that the top dryers was if that top dryer had to been um, did as good a job as like the Reiko Radius ones do, that drop down dryer, then uh, this would have been the best uh, drying system ever for me. But, um, but yeah, the top, the top one didn't quite hit it. A little bit of soap there, but that's, that's common on most of the washes. Yeah, and you can see here, it, uh, there's a lot of water on the back. Uh, the back window because again the top dryer was a little bit weak 
but I like those systems. I mean, if you like the touch systems, I mean, these ones are really, really thorough. Those brushes really go to work on your vehicle. Uh, my car was uh, clean before, so there's no point in doing a before shot. It's not like I could tell how well it cleaned, but I mean, you can tell by the way it was working that if your car was dirty, it would come out clean with that, so. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I can't wait to see who the first person was to get the correct name of uh, that system. You've seen me do it before. It's been a little while though. Um, but hope you enjoyed it. Uh, at least it's something a little different than uh, what I'm usually coming across. Looks like they built a brand new uh, Ultramar across the street. Looks really, really nice. And they have some bays there. I thought maybe they had a car wash, but it's actually just... Um, uh, it's an oil change type place and that, but would have been a good spot for a car wash too. But uh, yeah, so anyways, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.